guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Kimberly and welcome to Style Mom XO. Okay, you guys, so today I'm giving you this. This is kind of my everyday makeup look. It has been highly, highly requested. So I am doing that for you guys today. Um, I will list all the products down below in the description box. Um, and I think I'm gonna do this video as a voiceover. So I will name all the products as I'm going through them. Um, but yeah, you guys have requested this everyday makeup look, so here it is. And I'm not sure how these videos are going up, but I have an everyday makeup look, um, my mommy on the go makeup look, and then an eyebrow tutorial. So if something else is already up, they will be linked down below as well. Um, I believe that is it. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into this everyday makeup look. Okay, first things first, we're going to moisturize our face with Clinique's Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. We're going to rub that in, get that nice and soaked into our face, and then we're going to move on to foundation. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever 8 Ultra HD Foundation, and I'm just going to place this a little bit underneath my eyes, along my cheekbones, and then a little dot on my nose and underneath my chin, uh, just to cover up that redness. And that is all that I placed the foundation on my face. So I'm going to take a Real Techniques Miracle Sponge, uh, make sure it is damp and it, you wring it out with the water and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. Next up, I'm going to be taking my Fit Me Concealer. I love this concealer. I'm going to be placing it underneath my eyes to cover up uh, the dark circles, place it on any blemishes, and then I have redness around the bottom of my lip, and so I'm just going to cover up there. Again, take the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge and just blend that on in. <music> Next up, we're going to go ahead and seal in that concealer with the Ultra Pressed Powder, um, setting powder in the color Banana. And I'm just going to place this just in the places that I put the concealer and then we're going to go in with a different powder for the rest of the face. Next up, we're going to be taking Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder. I love this powder. It's probably one of my favorite powders I have ever used with a big fluffy brush and just placing this on the rest of my face. Taking my favorite, favorite, favorite bronzer of all time, the Benefit Hula Bronzer, I'm going to place this along my cheeks just kind of bronze up the face and bring some color back. I'm going to put it along my hairline, underneath my bottom lip, and then along my jawline. It is super important to be taking a stippling brush and just going over that bronzer. You want to make sure everything is blended in and there's no harsh lines. And don't mind me telling Miles just to go around. He's sitting by the slider wanting to go out, but I'm telling him to go outside his doggy door. <laughs> And then I'm going to be going in with some blush. This is Max uh, Margin. I love this blush, probably one of my favorite from MAC. And then we are going to be priming our eyes. I always use an eyeshadow primer. Um, I'm going to be using Max Pro Longwear Paint Pod in the color Painterly. Um, 
Then going in with Urban Decay Naked's Basics palette. I love this eyeshadow palette. It is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. As you can see, I've used up a lot of the colors. So we're going to be taking Foxy and WOS, just mixing those two together and placing it over the primer just to go ahead and make sure the other colors are going to blend out a little bit easier. Then I'm going to be going back into my bronzer. This is a huge tip, just taking a fluffy brush along with the bronzer and we're just going to place this no rhyme or reason we're just going to place it right in the center um, to go ahead and just bring in a little bit of definition and color to the eyes taking a smaller little more defined brush along with a brown color there it's called faint and I'm going to place that into the crease just to give it a little bit more definition a little bit more detail to the eye and that is it Taking any brown eyeliner, we're going to place this just, don't even worry about it being precise. We're going to be taking a brush and blending it out, kind of smoking it out a little bit. So there's not going to be any harsh lines or anything like that for you to worry about. Taking that same brush along with that faint color again, I'm just going to place a little bit underneath my bottom lash line uh, just to go ahead and bring a little bit of definition down there as well. Cannot forget the highlight. We're going to highlight the brow bone um, right underneath the eyebrow. We're going to highlight in the corner of our eyes. I always, always, always love to put a little bit of highlighter right on the tip of my nose. I don't know why, but I do. And then your Cupid's bow uh, right above your lip. I do have an eyebrow tutorial. I will link down below where it is a video strictly on that. But I'm going to be taking the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and just outlining my eyebrows. And then going in with any brown um, really eyeshadow, I'm using the MAX eyeshadow in the color Brawn and just filling them in. And then for lips, I'm going to be taking NYX Butter Gloss in the color Cream Brulee and placing that on my lips. And then just going in with any mascara, put some mascara on those eyelashes. If you wear falsies, now would be the time to go ahead and put them on. I don't personally. And then looking back, I did notice that my lip color was a little light. So I'm going in with Essence Soft Berry and just placing that around for the completed look. Okay, you guys, so this is the look, and this is what I wear 90% of the time. This is truly a thousand percent my everyday makeup look. So um, that is why in most of the videos, you guys see me like this. Um, so yeah, it's been a very highly requested, so I wanted to get that out, to, out there to you guys because it's been some time and I had a lot of requests. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it, this look. Again, all everything that I've used will be down below in the description box in case you guys want to check any of it out. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one, you guys. Bye.